Rob Gronkowski went on the K Adams show today. And I, I love him and Tom Brady because like they can be so candid. They're the gro- they're the goats. They've won a bajillion Super Bowls. They mm-hmm. could be they could say whatever they want about any any player, any coach, and those players have to take it and say, yeah, we love Rob, <laughs> even though that really hurt. So why don't you tell people what Rob said about the Niners? Man, so Rob was on on the K Adams show and he was asked about Brock Purdy, and he quickly answered, yeah, you know, uh, the question was, do you think Brock Purdy Essentially, like, is he as good as people think? And and can he prove himself over this few game stretch without Debo and CMC? And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But he quickly brushed that question off and went into in depth. Oh, what is going on with the 49ers? And he's like, I don't understand it. This is the most talented team in the league. They've got weapons upon weapons upon weapons. Even without Debo and CMC, they've got more than enough to be explosive. Why are they not scoring 40 plus a week like the Saints? And he goes, this isn't just a this year problem. This is a last year problem. And he's like, the only thing that I can think of is that they don't have the it guy. And Kay Adams quickly was like, well, Rob, what about Ayuk? And he's like, yeah, no, Ayuk's cool, but he's not an it guy. Well, Mm -hmm. what about Kittle? He's like an it player. But I mean, when I say it, I mean, get me the damn ball with the game on the line it. He meant and like so me. He, he said like like me, like Edelman, like, me, like Edelman, yeah. yeah, like Tom was delivering yeah. the ball, and he he basically and and she it was so funny, bless her heart, because she was really like trying to, are you sure that you want to go down this path? But what about this player? Or what about CMC? Or what about Debo? And he was like, no, no, these guys are not it players because if they were with a coach like that, with with the talent that they have they would have won and they would be dominating the league. There shouldn't be a team that can hang with this offense, yet they are because they're holding themselves back. I just thought it was it was refreshing to hear an honest opinion from someone that, quite frankly, doesn't give an F. He beats to his own drum. And what are you going to do? I mean, this is a four-time Super Bowl champion on two different teams. If anybody knows what it takes to be an it player, I would think it's Rob Gronkowski. And his point was, there's so much talent on this team that it seems like when the game is on the line, they're all looking at each other like, he'll do it. No, he'll do it. Well, he'll do it. Instead of being like, no, 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 no. I will do it. My and what, what it made me think of, Grant, divisional game a couple years ago against the Green Bay Packers. When the 49ers snuck into the playoffs week 18, it was third and seven. Debo said, give me the ball. I'll go make it happen. And he did. He iced that game on that run. They were able to kick the game-winning field goal and get out of Lambeau with a win. Debo has been that guy in the past. I don't know that if he is that he is that guy today, um, but I thought it was super interesting that Rob is talking about the 49ers in a completely different fashion than anybody else in media. I love that. Absolutely. Christian, I feel like, has some of that in him, although once he fumbled in the Super Bowl, I feel like he stopped being that guy. He used to demand the ball, and ever since, I mean, after that, you go back and watch his runs after that. He didn't run particularly hard. I don't think he broke one tackle after he fumbled. So, mm. And also, your it guy can't be the freaking running back. The running back is not going to get you a Super Bowl trophy. He might get you to the Super Bowl, but I can't remember. I mean, Terrell Davis did it 30 years ago, but it's essentially not going to happen. Um, so Rob's right. Like, George Kittle, you see yourself as a Hall of Fame tight end. How have you allowed Kyle Shanahan to overlook you your entire career like you're not going to make it in the hall of fame because you didn't say anything about it and you have like 30 something touchdown catches when you should have 60 or more so yeah nothing in the playoffs he does nothing nothing in the playoffs absolutely nothing and frankly neither is Ayuk. and Ayuk, he he wants the ball he'll complain he doesn't get it but he doesn't demand it kind of whines when he doesn't get it but he doesn't demand it the way an it guy would, the way Julian Edelman did, or, or or Jerry Rice did, or Travis Kelsey does, or Antonio Brown would have. So, yeah, I have to agree. And this, again, this is coming from someone who's won lots of Super Bowls, not just one, knows what it takes. Well, and again, I think Debo has that mentality because you've seen it, right? Like teams like the Rams or the Eagles that piss him off, he just holds that grudge. But in the Super Bowl, he was the focal point. And he didn't produce. I don't know that Debo doesn't. Debo might have that mentality. I don't know if he can do it though. I don't know if he's if he's good enough anymore to be that guy on the biggest stage. He was given his chance, and I'm sure he relished in it. But he got hurt, and then he just 
was almost a non-factor, even though he got targeted like 11 times. Yeah. So he can't be the it guy. I love the concept, and I'd like to see someone step up and take it. Obviously, it should be Brandon. They're paying him to be that. You get $30 million a year on average, and you can't demand the ball. Like, that's what they're paying you to do. If you want it, you get it. Don't just t talk about afterward, like, oh, it should have went to me. Don't forget who, don't forget the guy who got you there. Like, no, nah, say something now and, mm -hmm. and speak up because we can't hear you, man. Ever since he got paid, I can't hear him anymore. I can't hear him. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, just doing pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's like, what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, Brandon, I you deaf in this year. I just can't hear you. Sorry, Brandon, I you has to be that guy this year. Um, but if you're going to pay Brock Purdy sixty million dollars, he has to be that guy going forward. That's the truth. Um, Kilo T Dub says, "What are the chances Jimmy gets some snaps for the Rams this Sunday?" I'm hoping that it happens. I'm not hoping for an injury, but just some circumstance where Jimmy has to play. I want it, need it, need it. <laughs> Food poisoning or something stupid. I need it in my life. I want it in my life. Wave nine says we're lucky Kyler is on a poverty franchise. What team has fewer fans than the Cardinals? Got to be the Panthers now, right? Who can root for that franchise? What a disaster. That's a good point. Grant, you're not jumping the gun. Swap K1 and Brock. You get in trouble talking Niner fans like that. Well, li listen, I, I will say this. Um, I said that I have Brock ahead of him from a consistency standpoint, but Brock's a lot closer to Kyler Murray's a lot closer to Brock than Brock is to being an actual elite quarterback. I'll say that. Also, statistically, Gino's been better than Brock the last seven games. Moving on, Kilo, Kilo TW says we do have an IT guy. Only problem is he's on, we do have an it guy. Only problem oh. is he's on defense equals Fred. I, we gotta uh, yes agree point. we gotta leave in like one minute um yeah. but i want to say something nick bosa said something today okay who is he talking about aaron donald someone asked him do you think aaron donald could come back and play like you know no training camp come out of retirement he's like yeah you know i'm sure he could he's uh good enough to do it but he sort of he said you know he played 10 years in the league and got out without being seriously injured that's kind of the dream and i was like oh, oh what what was that played 10 years in the league got out that's the dream oh so he's in year six so i'm just throwing that out there maybe four more years of bosa four more years of bosa i think that's the plan Oof. which would get him through his contract right that's the dream that's kevin the dream. crittenden says kyle is the it guy that's what he wants oh, no it's a great point that was not the it's hard guy. to assert yourself when the head coach has already has <laughs> <laughs>